Jesus Revolution has been a, f a film that I've wanted to make for a very long time. I just believe that um, so much came from America's last spiritual revival, awakening, and we need another one of those. We, we need this to happen again. My generation has never experienced anything like this, and I want to experience it. So it just began a seven-year obsession with revival, with the Jesus movement, and with this desire to, to utilize my gifts and the gifts of our team to, to tell the story. Greg was a teenager, uh, as was his wife, Kathy, at the very origin of the Jesus movement in Southern California. He was a part of it. And so we just bonded and just became great friends. And the idea was, how can I use my skills as a filmmaker and his skills as a pastor and as, a, as an evangelist, and how can we tell this story? Uh, and how can we tell it in a way that will make a generation say, maybe this could happen in my time and in my generation. It's gonna end up being a really special film. I think it's really gonna be able to change lives. Our hope is that this happened before in America, this can happen again in America. We need another Jesus revolution. <laughs> so to, to, to feel for two hours that you're caught up in it uh, and that you're a part of it, um, and that you're a part of all these people that were so different from each other, hanging out and loving each other. Um, it just, it makes you instantly feel like, man, can this happen again? Filming The Jesus Revolution was magical. I've had more fun making the movie uh, than I have in so long, and, and there was just something so powerful about it. I felt like God was just in the movie and what we were doing, and it felt like being strapped to a rocket, you know? And uh, there was a lot of, you know, whatever you wanna call them, uh, moments of divine intervention, God moments as we made the film. The most important to me was it was very important that we go back to the actual Pirate's Cove and film the baptisms there. And uh, as a film producer, that is not a logical decision. Pirate's Cove is, is a crater. You can't get to it, you have to hike over it. The surface of the rocks is like the surface of Mars. I mean, it's sharp rocks and, and, uh, and sort of dangerous. It's not the safest location. Uh, it's not the easiest location, uh, but it's the real location. And I just felt it was very important that we go back to where this stuff actually happened and we do it there. And, uh, and so that's what we strove to do.